that are really mad to their current situation. Um, my body, my house by Lisa Barris, illustrated by Julia Wu. Um, so this also explains that how balance should be when you with their health, healthy environment. For this, so, if your parents also want to watch this, they can since it's for kids and grown ups as well. I'm going to be starting to read the book. Okay. Let's get started. In a quiet little house surrounded by trees, birds could be heard and fireflies seen. There lived an old house, I think you'd agree. The house knew of things that eyes couldn't see. The house was all wood. Indeed, it was so. The wood from the house surely did grow. From the tree that was planted not too long ago. From the green grassy hills of the land. It did not live alone. Oh no, that's for sure. Because a body did live there behind the front door. Quite new to the world and ready to grow. But the body had a long way to go. The house of the body, both are special indeed. One made from heaven and the other a seed. The house gave all when the body did ask. Fresh air, warm sun, it was up to the task. The house kept the body warm from the cold with a large fireplace built from old bricks and stone. When the body was hot, the house wanted to please and opened up the windows to let in a breeze. But what about food when hunger sets in, said the body with a sly little grin. Don't worry, body, I'll provide for you. Just take from my garden whatever you choose. Thank you, dear house, said the body with glee. Your gifts are so precious and mean the world to me. But soon he didn't notice that the competition grew steep. Between him and his neighbors, week after week, he had to look good and remodel things fast to keep up with the Jones would be quite a task. No longer do I want these old hardwood floors. Give me a carpet and paint and finally new doors. I want it all now. I want it all on time. Remodel this place. Do it all on a dime. I don't care if it's safe or made by a creep. Just make it look good and deliver it cheap. Impress my neighbors and my friends down the road. Is it unhealthy? I don't want to know. Is there a better solution? What if it fails? Just get it done. And now, spare the details. I don't understand, said the house of dismay. I thought we were happy living our way. But if he insists, please do take care, for these things can create poisonous air. When you breathe it in, this air new things will create it. air in your lungs that just isn't safe. Your head might hurt and your eyes might be sore. You might forget things that you once knew before. I don't care. I don't care. The body ranted and raved. Knew with what I want. I want it today. I insist on the body. I've heard your advice. I must be like my neighbors no matter the price. So clang with the hammer and zip with the drill. His head hurt so bad, he slurped down a pill, while the sounds of the tools made him shake and then shrill. As time passed on, the body felt bad. He wanted new things, fad after fad. I want central heat, I want central air. Seal up these windows. How? I don't care. But you don't understand, the house started to gush. My air now contains pollution and dust. You've added new things, I'm no longer the same. Look in the mirror. You're the only one to blame. My body was mad, and the body was mad with and with a huff and a puff and a heave. He screamed, "How? Stop your advice, or I'll leave!" Time marched on, but the body stayed in, curled in a ball, and becoming quite thin. No energy left, no muscle tongue there. To top of it all, he lost one more hair. Then one day, as he woke in horror, through a hole in the covers, he saw in the corner as he looked closer, his face turned pale white. Could it be? Was it true? A bug had been there all night. It was Billy. Willie and Silly thought the body with fear. I know there's just one, but more might be near. 
We must spray the house, said the body, today. Get rid of these insects and keep them away. But, said the house, as she warmed him, warned him again, the bug spray is harmful when you breathe it in. I want them all out. Get them all out of here, the body demanded with a cough and a sneer. Not just the house. Spray my garden as well. Bugs might be there. You never can tell. A long time passed, and the house felt quite bleak. She was tired of seeing the body so weak. Go outside and play, said the house with hope. Run through my house or play some jump rope. I can, said the body. I sneeze and I sneeze. If I run and jump, I'll cough and wheeze. I'll wheeze. I need clean air. I need good food, said the body to the house in his typical mood. But, said the house, you don't understand. Things aren't the same anymore on my land. My air is now dirty. My food is now spoiled. Too, nothing grows here quite like it used to. See what you've done, the house bowed her head down. You've made your bed, you must lie in it down. But, cried the body, this can't be so. I'll spray air fresher to make new things grow. I'm sorry, dear body, said the house with despair. Freshener from a can won't clean. There, what the body required, the house couldn't give. Clean air, good food, and a safe place to live. Remember, my friend, the old house did say, the actions you take do affect you someday. I'm tired, said the body of this house, telling me what to make choices wisely and make them safely. Right then, he fell dizzy and spun all around like a swirling tornado. Then he fell to the ground. Oh, help me, dear house, cried the body in pain. He dragged himself over and crawled up on a chair <sighs> to a window above it to get some fresh air. As he opened the window, he stuck his head out and took a deep breath and started to shout, I'm alive, I'm free, can this really be so? For the first time in years, fresh air fills my soul. And right at that moment, a sight so brought a hold, a blue butterfly so bright and so bold, knew into, flew into the window, landing right on his arm said the body and now realized. Bugs mean no harm. The light bulb went off right then like a flash to the head of the body. It felt like a crash, like a bang or a boom. It finally seemed clear what the house had been saying. The body could hear. I'm a nimwit, a moron, a goofball, no doubt. How could I be careless, the body did shout. How do I not see? How did I not know? For truly so reap that we sow. And healthy and happy and wiser will be when we listen to our land, our home and body. He reached out his arms and hugged his dear friend. Don't worry, wise house. These problems are men. Then he skipped out the door, not a minute to spare. Spotting all of his friends and leaped in the air. Butterflies, trees. Birds, bugs, everyone, and the body now realized we're woman in one. And that's the end of my body, my house. I hope you learned a new lesson. I hope you liked it. And also be yourself and be super curious around you. Bye!